Hey folks, and welcome back to KKR Renewables. We're going to do a little something different today. I've just purchased a Delta Pro Ultra from EcoFlow, and I'd like to share with you folks a non-professional unboxing and review of the Delta Pro Ultra. I say non-professional because I'm not a professional, and a lot of the reviews on YouTube I see are by folks who do this for a living, and they review battery banks and what they call solar generators. Why did I buy this? Well, I bought it because I need to make sure that my studio has power in the event of a power outage so I can continue working. It, may, it might seem like overkill for what I want it for, but given that sometimes we have power outages that last for a couple of days, I think this makes a whole lot of sense so that we can keep working. I'm just going to share my experience with you from the moment this was delivered to my front porch to the time it was fully operational. I hope you find this video helpful, and if you do, please be sure to like and subscribe and leave me a comment and we can chat about the experience. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> Came home to find the whole home backup EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra Inverter here on my doorstep. I don't know if this is everything or not. Um, looks to me like it is just the inverter plus a single battery. It's enough to get it going today, but I'm gonna need um, the rest of the, the batteries. There's a hole punched here. There's a hole punched here, and I can feel the plastic of the device right here. Um, I hope it's not messed up. There are places where it looks like the, the straps pinched in. This is exactly how I found it on my front porch. This was torn up. Looks like there's a hole right there. I can't tell what the bottom side of it looks like. But anyway, I hope it's okay. All right, we're gonna do a, an unboxing video right here on my front porch because this thing's too heavy for me to pick up. I'm just gonna cut open the straps with my shears. Tape even has EcoFlow on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's go ahead and see how it looks on the inside. It doesn't look too bad, I guess. There's a little scratch on it. This went all the way through and hit there as well. This looks like it's just the inverter. There's no batteries with this, so I can't do anything with this today. But I can unbox it. Looks like the trolley comes up first at the wheels and then the inverter down there. That should be all there is to it. It's about as wide as I expected. <clears throat> So that's good. Um, I will go ahead and take a crack at these instructions. Take a look at what's in the box, compare it to what these say. And uh, I'll be back when I've got the parts out of the box. Well, all right. In the box, it says very clearly that there is a EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra battery, part H. It's in the box. I don't see it, but let's go ahead and let's see if it's here. Next thing you'll see is everything out of the box. All right, we seem to have everything that is checked off here in pink in the box. Um, the only thing that's not there is the extra battery and battery connector to the, to the inverter. As you can see, here's the inverter. AC power, solar input, with MC4 connectors and the proprietary XT end on it. Four casters, four lifters, I guess, for the casters. This tool right here is one of those handy dandy little tools to um, 
connect and disconnect MC4 cables. And there's the trolley. I'll put that together next. And here is the empty box. That's all that's left. I saved those desiccant packets because I use them in damp areas and then toss them when they get full. The casters are really easy to insert, install. I'll just take an open end wrench and just tighten that down. That does not come with the kit. I'm gonna install that caster in that caster and be right back. All right, here's the cart for the, the Ultra. Um, the casters are on here. There are tabs right here. They lock the casters and this guy will not move. These that I thought were for maybe the casters, they're not. What they're for is to install uh, on the bottom side of this trolley if you want to stack it another one on top of each other. If you want to have two inverters on top of each other, that's what that's for. So. You'd put those instead of the casters, sit the whole trolley on top of your existing inverter, stack the other set on top of that. Stack the other set on top of that. Okay, now I'm gonna put that on here. I'm gonna go sit it where it belongs. And yeah, that's my wave too. I just got that guy too. Um, all right, that's it for now. Um, I'll come, I'll be right back when it's all, when, when I've put the inverter on top of the trolley. All right, there you go. Um, there's the inverter on top of the trolley. My son just helped me lift it because I believe it is 76 some odd pounds. Um, you see those marks on top here? That's where the top of the box was damaged. Um, that does bother me, but you know, I guess that's just a little cosmetic thing. Um, okay, anyway, my son thinks the whole thing looks pretty cool too, so that's a bonus. All right, that's it for now. All right, came home to this on the front porch. Let's go ahead and get this guy opened and uh, unboxed. All right, let's go ahead and open this guy up. This is kind of what I expected. So in the other construction book said what's in the box was battery and connectors. I'm willing to bet there's nothing else in this box except battery and connectors. Not sure what else there would be anyway. Really well packaged, really well boxed. It looks great. All right, I'm gonna put the phone down now. Next time you see this guy, it's gonna be on the system. Two components just fit nicely on top of each other. The battery has two rails or feet on the bottom that fit into recessed grooves on the trolley. And then the head unit just fits nicely on top of the battery. Everything just fits in place, so that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and wire up the solar, get her plugged in, and see what we're producing. All right, the instruction manual says to turn off the PV switch before connecting or disconnecting the PV modules. That is for the low charging, which is at the top of this video, or the high PV charging, which is at the bottom. So that port, this thing is so easy to turn, it's amazing. The off is right here. All right, I just wanted to flip on my, my camera. So PV is on here and it is off here. So it's currently in the off position. Let's go ahead and plug in our low voltage. All right. There's our low voltage plug. Need two hands for this, hang on.
All right, let's go ahead and get our connector now. And we'll take it over to the unit. All right, so, wow, this thing is hefty. Okay, so pretty easy to figure out. Everything's nicely labeled. Battery port, battery port. This is for the expansion. So let's go ahead and pull these doors down. Looks like they, they only go in one way because it's beveled on one side. Here we go. All right, we can lock them as well. I will do that, just not right now. I don't have a screwdriver with me, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug in PV here and flip the, the power. We'll see what we get. This is only for AC charging. I'm not gonna worry with that. Okay. Let's plug in the solar. There you go. Just needed two hands for that. And I'm going to come around here on the side. All right. And we're going to. All right, the unit should be rigidly powered on. And just like that, we are on. The unit is sitting at 30%. I can see the little solar array, the low with the L solar array saying that we've got PV input and we're starting to get solar input. This time of day, three o'clock, 550 watts. That is exactly on par with what I would be expecting to get. So while well, literally, literally five minutes after I took this thing out of the box, we are up and running and starting to charge our, our battery. Okay, I'm just gonna lock the wheels in place. All right, and there's our unit. It's up and running, 562 watts of input power. At this rate, we have eight hours worth of charging left eight hours and 17 minutes to charge to full. This will continue to decline. Um, I'll get upwards to uh, 710, 715 watts total because that's the size of my array. And I will probably be adding to that later. But anyway, uh, that's it for this video and I will let you all know updates as we go along to see how this guy's performing. All right, thanks for watching.
All right, next thing we're gonna do now that we've got the firmware upgraded and we've got solar input coming in, so we'll plug in our load. These are each 20 amp plugs. And let's turn on the AC power. You can hear various relays clicking on and I'm showing 136 watts of output and 103 watts of input. All right, we'll monitor this throughout the day. All right, the last two have shown up. Okay, we'll be back when these two are in the house. I'm not gonna unbox these or show these, the unboxing because they're gonna look exactly like the other one. All right, here we are all stacked together. One, two, three batteries in the head unit on top. Now I just need to connect the cables. One, two, three, that's how they'll go. They'll just zigzag across the bodies of the batteries and then we'll power back on. These have little buttons on the top to release and to pull the cables off. You just push down and it pops right out. Just like that. Otherwise they lock in place. And again, you have these locking screws where you can lock them down with that screw. There's a final configuration for that. <laughs> Batteries came on all by themselves. There's a state of charge indicator on each one. And I reached out to the forum today to find out what happens if this is more charged than this one. And they said, just don't worry about it. It will be handled by the system itself. So I'm gonna hope that's true. Okay, time to plug her in. All right, so I turned, I stood up, and we are already on. The whole system is showing 37%. That's about what I would expect the average to be. And we're looking at uh, three, shows three batteries connected to the system. No cables plugged in yet, but we're going to go through the same process we did yesterday. I'm going to turn everything off and plug the cables in. All right, all of our cables are plugged in now. AC is plugged back in, solar's plugged back in, and the master breaker switch is turned on. And that's it. We'll give you guys updates on how it is progressing with charging and discharging.